The tools developers are using is changing every year in this new developer AI landscape. So I've put together a list of the top 10 dev tools to try in 2026. First is Claude's new extension for Chrome. It allows more direct access to your web browser for Anthropics models. I'm already using Claude's models every day in Cursor, and this just gives it more access for agents. Unlike a regular chat dialogue, this integration has a number of benefits. From a web programming point of view, it can combine with Claude code to interact directly with the web browser and make updates based on screenshots, then updating your code base, and finally double checking that all of it is exactly how you requested. Next up is Tanstack. Tanstack isn't just one tool. It's an entire ecosystem that does state management, data virtualizations, tables, grids, and routing. It's open source and constantly improving. It was originally called React Query, and it grew due to popularity and became what it is now. So instead of using something like React Router or MobX or Redux, you can use Tanstack Query, Tanstack Store, and Tanstack Router. Bun is an all-in-one JavaScript runtime built from the ground up to be fast. It's significantly faster than Node.js, especially for things like package installs, test runs, and script execution. It's so popular, in fact, that Anthropic recently purchased it, and their most recent product, Claude Code, actually runs on Bun. What makes it special is that it's not just a runtime. It's also a bundler, a transpiler, and a package manager with the ability to do testing all bundled into one. No more juggling Webpack or Babel or Jest or NPM all separately. So if you're tired of slow NPM installs and native TypeScript always needing configuration files, then give Bun a shot. Drop it into an existing Node.js project because most things now work out of the box. There is a new code editor called Anti-Gravity, and it's made by Google. Like many others, it's a fork of VS Code. However, it is integrated to things like your terminal as well as your web browser through a special extension. And this interconnectivity allows it to communicate a lot more, fulfilling the prompts and requests that you need. Anti-Gravity is also an agent-first IDE, which means that it has a special window where you can manage multiple agents at the same time to complete tasks across different types of projects. And this is kind of the future of how computer programs programming will be done. Since Google has massive resources, I can imagine that they're going to continuously build on this, especially using their new Gemini models to turn this code editor into a powerhouse. Next up is one of my most used tools this year, LM Studio, allowing you to run a local AI models on your own computer or laptop. What makes LM Studio special is the fact that it's got all the popular models ready to go with a single click to download and use. I can then access these models, kind of like I would access OpenAI through its API endpoint. I can use it in a project through an NPM package, or I can even just grab a URL from the web browser and view it through there. Running local AI models is definitely beneficial if you're just testing out ideas and you don't want to run through lots and lots of credits that cost a real world money. Claude Code is the next tool that I definitely recommend trying in 2026 since it's come a long way since its initial release. It's no longer simply a AI agent in a terminal. It's now interconnected to lots of places, like inside of Cursor, where it's able to do things like unit tests as well as interact directly with GitHub or Slack to perform different types of tasks. Some of the new features it now has is the ability to create sub-agents to complete larger tasks in faster amounts of time, as well as being able to create plugins and agent skills. And I think agent skills are definitely worth looking into. There are ways of creating sub-agents with specialized context and rules to follow to complete the task exactly the way you want because long gone are the days where we one-shot everything without providing much rules as to how our environment should be run. Next is a no-code builder called Wix Studio. Since you don't always have to code everything from scratch, Wix Studio is one of the most powerful low-code website builders that allows you to still throw code into your websites if you want. What makes Wix Studio special in 2026 is that it's come a long way with a new enhancements for AI tools, as well as being able to throw in custom animations and code that haven't been possible in the past. For example, there's this AI responsive design feature that takes any design you have and simply creates a tablet and mobile versions. Additionally, there's a web-based IDE, which allows you to edit your project with the help of an AI assistant, as well as being able to just write your own code. Wix Studio is built for serious businesses, so there's things like project management, collaboration, and libraries all built built in. If you've ever wanted to add 3D elements into your website designs, like this one here, or this one over here, 
or even this one here, then there's a website called Spline Design that lets you do this quite easily. In the past, I would use libraries like 3JS or D3 to be able to create 3D objects on a web page. But Spline Design kind of lets you do this with an iframe and lets you create experiences with more interactivity and animation. Spline Design have also released HANA, which is the 2D version of their 3D software. It allows you to create all the same sorts of animations, interactions, and effects. And it's one of my favorite places to go to when I want to create something more complex than just traditional JavaScript or CSS would allow me to. Next up, we have an automation tool called N8N, which allows you to create all sorts of things, whether you're a developer or even just trying to automate all your favorite subreddits to compile all the top articles and email them to you at the end of the day. N8N can be downloaded locally and run on your local machine, or you can run it in the cloud. Out. It can connect to things like Discord, Slack, or even just a webhook. And I've seen some really advanced uses of N8N, where it comes with a memory as well as tool calls and is able to do things like even use Claude code to create automations that run every day. Next up is Lovable. It's a cloud-based tool to create apps and websites by using AI to kind of bootstrap the MVP idea. However, Lovable has come out as one of the top contenders that I've preferred over things like Bolt.new and V0, as the AI models under the hood and the secret source they use seem to always create a better looking website compared to their competitors. Additionally, I can always download the code myself since it runs on Vite. Most of the code is structured pretty cleanly using Tailwind CSS and I can always export it straight into something like Cursor.